It sleeps when the limbs are active. Pindar. Always at the worst times, always without warning, he abandons his studies, his napping, hands pressed between thighs and flutters in the warmth of his perch hidden down between the diaphragm and the tightly packed lobes of the abdominal organs he would not deign to touch. Up the vena cava and into the chest cavity, my whole thorax lights up as he climbs rib by burning rib. I'm helpless. It's got to be something about the scene here at the intersection of produce and a plasticized recreation of an idea of a butcher shop that's caught his ever dilated eye. So many things from his books. Muscles marbling under cling wrap, speckled cross-section of bone, citrus shipped from overseas and piled in fruit carts with cardboard wheels, fiber and pith, the stem cell, the marrow, cilantro and antiseptic, bodies of shoppers layer by layer by moistened layer, a place he could hide, hum of compressors and a piped-in thunderclap as the greens take the their mist, pectin, blood, hundreds of gallons of water, jugged, and help us, he's beginning to sing, oh abundance, little Stevie wonders, silk and tink tink of piano, price per ounce, this is his ascension, the recitation of checkers names, hair colors, ring sizes has begun, I try to swallow, He's in the esophagus, a talon lodged in the trachea. I grin like an idiot, ready to buckle at the knees.